Hello, I'm Randall Whiteman. Today I'll be running through the three types of inquiry programs in Epicor ERP version 10 using the standard Epicor demo instance. For an overview of the Epicor interface and program structure, see the other videos in the navigation series on the Epicor demo YouTube channel. OK, let's get started. So to access inquiry screens, there are three different types of inquiries. There's display only trackers, uh, the normal uh, inquiry screens status dashboards and executive dashboards. Okay, so again I would recommend that the inquiry applications that are commonly accessed are put on the menus, uh, on the favourites, sorry. Let's have a look at the standard menu and where we can access these inquiry applications. Okay, so when we go to the menu, we'll go down to the executive analysis and under here we can see, first of all, the trackers menu. And we can see there are lots of trackers. We're not going to go through every one of them, let's just go through a couple. We have seen in other videos the customer tracker. So let's go and find the customer tracker. And we'll use our Addison customer. And I know the name so I can put the existing customer in there. And I tabbed off the, the line Entry enter button doesn't work. You tab off to exit the field, and when you exit the field, the data is retrieved. So the customer tracker is very similar in structure to the customer maintenance, except it's got additional uh, inquiry level information, so summary information. So for instance, we can see under financial that we have invoices, and we can see there are some filtering tabs for open and closed and closed invoices as well as all. There's also over here, I'll just look at a couple of the, the tabs. You can go through the, the tabs one by one to find the full functionality. The aging. So like with any other application in Epicor, by default it doesn't retrieve the data by default because there are so many uh, so many different types of data in the one application. So let's press the invoice aging button and that will retrieve invoice aging information uh, about the customer Addison. Okay, as well as financial information, uh, we also have credit information, financial, other financial information, payments information, uh, price lists which are currently attached to the customer. As well we have information about quotes, sales orders, related manufacturing jobs, customer returns, uh, shipments, and other information including CRM call information. Okay, so the structure of the tracker inquiry applications is very specific on the type of data being retrieved. Let's also go and have a look at the sales order tracker. So it's just called order tracker. In the tracker applications, when that does come up, I may not have it memory cached. We can retrieve multiple master record information. So let's just do a search. And for instance, we can choose multiple records And when we bring it back, although the, the basic application only shows one at a time, we can use the drop down or the navigation buttons to move between the selected records. In the sales order tracker, we can see a summary. It's very similar to the sales order entry application, the header level information, lines, releases, shipments, invoices. Okay, so we have additional information around invoices. Obviously, that's not the invoice doesn't exist at the sales order entry time and we can retrieve the information to get data there may not be any data in demo for this particular customer or it may just be taking a moment for my demo system okay and so let's come out of the sales order tracker uh, as we can see there are many different trackers in the uh, in the standard Epicor ERP. 
Now let's go and have a look at the the next type of inquiry program which is called the status dashboard. So if we choose the status dashboard menu and again we won't go through them all, they're not too many but we can use these as the um, the base for making some uh, customizations specific for the, the need of the business. So let's have a look quickly at the sales order status and I won't go through them in detail. Uh, but we can see that it again it's there are predefined uh, filtering tabs in this case to show uh, open releases so a release in a sales order that has not yet been uh, been fulfilled hasn't been shipped and when it has been shipped we can see uh, over here customer shipments and again I won't go in I won't go and find we have to refresh the data to find the information for the particular records. This is the demo system, so I won't go into the de into actual data. Just to outline that these particular applications are here. Uh, sales order backlog, uh, and another one interesting one is the the part on hand status. So we will try and have a bit of a look at some data here if we can. Uh, let's have a look at a particular part. Uh, now when we do show parts that have bin, uh, bin level information it's shown here the quantity on hand in the particular bin so within the warehouse at the bin level. On the warehouse tab if we have quantities in multiple warehouses for this part in this company it will also show the multiple sites, the multiple warehouses and the quantity that's on hand in that site. So we can see here where the tracker, the other, the first type of inquiry program is specific to the, um, the transaction, the transaction level, the status dashboard is more more general so it, do, it can cross, uh, it can consolidate information across multiple sites. Okay, so that's the status dashboards as the second type of inquiry program and the third type of inquiry program that all I'll say is just it exists and you can look at it um, is the uh, it's called shop vision it's the executive dashboards and it is a, a business intelligence type application um, where say we look at the site performance executive dashboard and we do have to run a um, uh, a data build uh, to build the data behind so that it, it builds the dimensions, builds the data cube uh, which I haven't done in the demo instance here but we can see that these do exist, there is some business intelligence um, type capability um, but that's all I'll go into on those, uh, those executive dashboards. So that's the three types of inquiry programs in the standard Epical ERP application. This was a Whiteman Online presentation. For more great content, subscribe to the Whiteman Online YouTube channel and visit the website. I look forward to seeing you soon at Whiteman Online.